Coming up, we're going to be talking about the Pixar Win or Lose Disney Plus series being delayed. Also talking about the second season of What If and much more. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's time for a quick Disney Plus news roundup. Let's start off with some good news. And that is Marvel's second season of What If is going to be arriving on at Disney Plus on Friday the 22nd of December. There's going to be nine episodes in this series and they're going to be doing something a little bit different. They're going to be released daily. That's right, right through the Christmas period. From that 22nd, there's going to be a new episode dropping every single day. So nine days of marvellous Marvel over Christmas. So yeah, even on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, we're going to have brand new episodes to watch. So that could be good. I don't know. It might work. It's kind of a, an event rather than just a binge drop, which... Um, I think it's pretty interesting. I definitely think that's a, a, a fun way of doing it. And um, whether or not it works, I think, you know, I really enjoyed What If. I thought it was a really good show. And I feel like it's a show that just can continue to keep going, keep rolling along. And it's such a unique way of being able to tell different stories, solo stories. They don't mean anything, but they can kind of interconnect with the MCU. They can use main characters and stuff. The trailer itself, lots more different stories. We don't really know exactly what stories are going to be in there. We've got lots of well-known characters. You've got Cork. You've got a Christmas episode with Happy Hogan kind of reenacting Die Hard, which I thought was rather cool. Um, got stuff going on there. A whole host of different characters. There's like weird kid that looks like he can kill people. Just doesn't looks a bit odd. With Ant Man running around. Got um, Killmonger as Black Panther. Yeah, um, the trailer, I'm really looking forward to the series. Um, I know there's obviously a bit of a thing with Marvel right now, but these What If episodes are going to be watched by a lot less people. I think the Marvel fans are going to love it. I know I'm looking forward to watching it over the Christmas period. Just every day, new, new Marvel every morning. I mean, you can't, can't really go wrong with that. You get your advent, actually no, your advent calendar will be, kind of be over for most of it. But yeah, just really looking forward to watching a Marvel second season of What If. You can obviously catch up on the first season right now. But also I think with this second one, that they're maybe not doing like the big Avengers team up like they did last time. But more multiverse stuff. This is the way I don't mind them doing it because it's like animated and it just, it just looks cool. But let us know what you think in the comments below. Keeping with the Marvel stuff rolling, let's now talk about Madame Web, which the trailer has been released. Um, this one's coming out in cinemas next year. Um, obviously it is a Marvel movie, but it's a standalone film. It's not going to be um, connected to anything from the MCU or even, I don't even think, some of the Sonyverse stuff. The interesting thing with this as well is Disney does have a pay to window rights for the US. So this film will eventually arrive on Disney Plus in the US, but it's probably about three, four years ago. But I'm going to question if it should, because I'm going to be honest, this trailer just looked like something from the CW network. It looked, I'll be honest, it looked terrible. Um, the Spider-Man kind of guy is the villain. I don't like the look of it. It just doesn't look good. Um, it is just, it's like multiverse and time, it's just like, it just feels so cheap. Um, oh, and just, it just does not appear. This is going to be a watch when it arrives. I'll probably rent it for like 3 99 or something like that when it arrives. But yeah, this one just did not look good to me. The special effects didn't look great. I don't like the story. I don't get why Madame Webb is so young in this. I know they kind of did a little featurette kind of explaining, you know, this is like when she's still kind of learning to get her powers. And we got multiverse stuff coming in there with different spider powered superheroes and stuff. Yeah, nah, it just, this is, and I'll be honest, I think this is going to bomb so badly. This is going to be another, like, Blue Beetle, the Marvels, Black Adam. It is just not going to do. This is the problem of the superhero fatigue problem of just putting out stuff with any character. Madame Web is not strong enough with all of these characters to lead their own movie. It just looks, like I said, it looks like an episode of something like you might see on the CW, like part of the Arrowverse or something like that. I don't like the look of it. I know some people do and some people are quite open to it. Um, but this is that kind of same thing as well. Of I just want... I don't want all these like weird knockoff Spider-Man films. Just give us Spider-Man. Is that... You know, I'll, Miles or Peter. I don't mind which one. And you know, you could have these other characters in there. That would work. But 
Yeah, no, Madame Web, just a straight up meh. That's I just did not like it. This is that kind of thing. It just doesn't. It just doesn't exist. It's, it's a multi. It's, I like the fact that it is a standalone product because it just means nothing. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Madame Web. Let us know what you thought of the trailer in the comments below. Keeping on the Marvel topic, let's now talk about Avengers Kang Dynasty. Now, this film was announced a while ago. It's set to come out in May of 2026. I mean, that's a while off, but, um, you know, with everything going on with the Marvel stuff, it's still a while off. Well, it has been revealed that the director, Destin Daniel Cretton, has actually stepped away from the project. Um, he's going to be focusing more on trying to get the Shang-Chi sequel and get that one directed and put out. He's also working right now on the Wonder Man Marvel Disney Plus series. Series. Um, he's directed the first two episodes. He's working on that one. Um, this one's going to be a one of the new like Marvel spotlight shows, a bit like Echo, where it's like kind of more grounded, less connected with the l large MCU, but it's still part of it. Um, so this will be coming out. I'm going to guess probably 2025. I think that will probably be when this one comes out. They've still got more to film. They've got special effects and stuff to add in, but. On one hand, I think it's good the fact that he's focusing on Shang-Chi 2 because I love the first one, one of my favourite Marvel films from recent years. I really enjoyed it. So more of that, please. Wonder Man, yet yeah, get it f finished. I do think with Marvel, you know, they've had so many projects on the go, it makes sense for him to focus on a couple of projects at once and do one at a time, you know, finish off Wonder Man and then get into Shang-Chi 2. Um, there's also a, just a big question right now over Kang Dynasty. Are Disney going to rename it? Are they going to change it into like Secret Wars Part 1 and Secret Wars Part 2? Um, I think it's all going to depend on the court case with Jonathan Majors coming up later this month. I think that's going to be the key thing. Um, Kang is just isn't connecting with audiences. So if they are going to rework the whole kind of ending of the multiverse saga... I would also wonder as well if they maybe want to get the same director to do both films rather than being a disconnect because he wasn't going to be doing Secret Wars. I think this is good. I think this is a good thing, kind of getting him to focus on Shang-Chi 2 and Wonder Man series. I think that's more important than on the Avengers film, which is years away. And the fact that they're all like reworking what they're doing with the MCU right now. I think this is a good idea, but yeah, love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. And finally, let's now talk about Pixar's first ever series, Win or Lose. And this was initially announced back at the Investors Day back in 2020, and it was supposed to come out this winter. It then got pushed back to December of this year. Now it's been pushed back into 2024. Um, apparently the series has been finished and it is supposed to be really good. They showed off the first episode at the ANSI Film Festival earlier this year. Um, now, I kind of feel there's probably two reasons why this series has been delayed. And I think there are two major reasons for this. First off is the strikes. And second of all, maybe wanting to focus on trying to get Wish to, to kind of do very well at the cinema. So let's deal with the first one. Uh, obviously with the strikes, you know, they've got a lot less content being created and... Therefore, you know, they might want to stretch out their content a little bit more. Maybe they're a little bit weaker um, at the start of next year and they kind of want to spread this stuff out, especially with less Marvel, less Star Wars, etc. So that's one reason why I think this one's probably been delayed. Another thing as well is we've seen Elio got pushed back and we've also um, seen them focusing on Inside Out 2, which comes out in June. But maybe now apparently this series is finished. There's nothing more that they're going to be doing on it. But I think it's probably that. But I think the other big, big thing right now is we've got Wish coming out next week. And I think Disney are trying to get people to go back to the cinema to see these films. And I think have they came out and said Win or Lose is out for Christmas this week, it would have completely undercut Wish. And people would have been going, oh, I can just wait for Disney Plus because Pixar are putting out this thing. And I, I just, that's my like, just theory that they just they, they they don't want this coming out where they've got any other films out they can kind of put out win or lose because the next animated film is not until inside out in june so they've got a little bit of a window next year but like that's my little theory along with the strikes i think those are the two kind of things but it has been confirmed that this has been delayed by some of the creators of the series on social media so we know it's happening i also feel like with um Percy Jackson and with What If, that's probably enough then for December. I don't think we necessarily needed um, 
this sort of win or lose series, plus when you've got Indiana Jones, and then the addition of that Hulu content. Um, yeah, I think this one's probably best that they've probably done it this way, but let us know what you think in the comments below. Let's now talk about what's new on Disney Plus today, because the big new release, obviously, is a new episode of the Kardashians. I'll be watching that one later with my wife. And also, we got a brand new series called Drive with Swiss Beats. Um, so this one is him and his son. They end up driving around in different places, uh, meeting cars and stuff. Haven't watched it, so that one's on Disney Plus. Here in the UK, Ireland, Australia, Canada, and um, it's also on Hulu in the United States. So a little bit of a, um, I wasn't 100% sure if it was going to arrive on Disney Plus here in the UK. I've seen it been advertised other places, but yeah, global release, great. But are you going to check it out? Love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. In our comment today, which comes from John, who says, in case anyone is put off by the interpreter of silence being an international original, give it a chance because it is a German show with an English dub by default. Now, I definitely think for me, having it having a English dub is going to make it much more sort of interesting for me to watch. I'll be, it, with subtitles, I don't tend to watch these kind of shows because I just can't concentrate. I haven't got the time to put into it. So some of these shows you can kind of put on and maybe you're on your phone and you're, you're, you're playing games or some of that and you just you can kind of put it on in the background. But when it's when it's subtitled, you've kind of got to focus on it. Um, so yeah, so it's good to see that one on there. Um, also, we've seen a lot less shows being dubbed, a lot of the international stuff. But yeah, it's great to know that one's there. So yeah, check out The Interpretive Silence. That one's on, again, Disney Plus around the world and on Hulu in the United States. I'll be so glad when I don't have to do that anymore. But anyway, guys, thank you very much. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Check out yesterday's news video, and I'll be back tomorrow with another news update. Cheers.